today is another day. We just wanted to record this because we are making food with canned food. We're making food with canned food? What the heck? We're gonna eat canned food today. Yes. <laughs> food with canned food. So the three canned food that we'll be eating today, wow, sounds like we're eating like cat food or some dog food like that. But the three canned food that we'll be trying out today is the chicken curry by Yos. This one apparently is with potatoes. Oh. And the Yos sambal udang is basically prawn like sambal. a prawn sambal. And the TC Boy tuna Thai red curry. So if you can see a pattern here, it's pretty much equals to we're eating uh, parata. DIY roti I mean we didn't make it. These are the roti chanai, the frozen. So plain one, plain paratha, onion paratha. You know, it's actually paratha. Extra flaky one. You want to try the extra flaky one? You want to try extra flaky? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or do you want the onion one? I don't mind. You want half half? I mean there's not many in a pack. How many is in a pack? Five. Like five pieces only. I don't mind. I want to try some flaky one and some... Onion? I guess so. Maybe just flaky one. Uh, enough lah. I mean I tried the flaky one before. Oh really? Is it nice? Yeah. Is it good? Okay, let's have the thing. I think the entire parata line is good. Our plan is to boil a pot of water. Yeah. And, and then put the cans in the boiling water. Put the cans in the boiling water. But we're gonna turn off the heat, right? Yeah. After it's yeah. It's just to heat up. It's just to heat up the canned food basically. Yeah. Because, because we don't like it cold. We just lazy to heat up in the pot, like taking out from the can itself and heat it up. We're just lazy. Yeah. But I have a feeling that things like chicken curry might need a little bit more seasoning. But if we do need it later, then we'll just add in some Maggie sauce. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Totally make everything better. Yeah. I mean, if we want to do like a, like how it tastes kind of thing. Yeah. We have to eat just how it exactly. Tastes. Like the last time we actually cooked it. Yeah. The last time I actually opened a can and then I added some milk, I added some salt. I yeah. Added, you know, a little bit of spices. That's not real test challenge. Not really, not really taste test challenge. But it make it nice. Yeah, but it's okay. We try it from the can first. And then after that, we see how if we need to like recook it or something like that. We're just gonna try it out the can first. Do you think bullets can go through this like PUBG? Right? I don't know. You try to hit that. Maybe this one will because it's a probably not so not the best material. It has to be skillet type one. You know the, the very heavy iron skillet type? Yeah, that would probably work. Yeah, makes sense. And the paratha, we will just pan heat up yes. the paratha. No oil. Nothing. No need for oil, no need for butter because it's already... So buttery and nice. Yes. Delicious. Oh my head. Maybe we have nuggets in it. M maybe. We'll see how. Pizza has still a 50%. No. Wow. You just ate pizza ha, yesterday. Yesterday, pang said come out already. Eh, I thought you were cheese intolerant. But yes, pang said come out already. No, 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 no. How about just turn off, turn off the. Turn off. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's okay. I think it will be fine. Yeah, I think it will be fine too. Uh, let me line it at the bottom. Very rich. Come in. Come in. Okay. Okay there. Enjoy the bubble bath. And we're making the palata. Ta-ra! Comes nicely packed with two plastic. plastic bags. Two, two plastics. Mm, so it doesn't stick. Yep. And just throw it on the Easy. Easiest. Parata in the world. Na 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 na. Okay, wish me luck. Wow. wow, so nice. So what, how is this flakier? Like later you taste. Like. Oh. It can taste like it's more buttery. Like. Oh, don't you need to like poof, poof, poof with your two hands? After it comes out. Yes, but hot. So I will do <laughs> But the anne does it. Now This one is kongdu one. You need to poof, poof. Your hands after it come out from the pan. No, it must be practical. That's the canned food. It's doing quite well, I guess. Mm. Like it's hot. It, the cans is, is hot. Very, very hot. Yeah. Probably later it's hot. Oh, fudge. Think about it later. <laughs> it's a white patch in the center. That's a bald spot. But here it looks okay. Yeah, but I think it's because it was frozen. Yeah. So that's no, I why. No, because it wasn't hot. Ah, it wasn't enough. hot enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the back, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not flexible enough, so but okay. Yay! 
for the roti canai. Go cook roti canai. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Three years of marriage. Yeah. yeah. Dun -dun. The roti chana look gorgeous with a little bit of butter. It really elevates the look, the look of the roti chana. Glossy look is the best look right now. Oh, okay. That was, like, yeah, it's... Oh, no pop. Yeah, there's no pop, right? Mm -hmm. So which, is, which means it's okay. Yeah. Tasty boy, usually I only buy the tuna with uh, chili padi mm -hmm. or the tuna with just chili, that's mm -hmm. all. But this is the first time I tried the... Curry. Curry one. Thai curry. Yeah, because I thought, you know what, I can eat with uh, paratha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no popping sound also. Which means it's rather safe too. Yeah, yeah. Curry, yeah. chicken curry with potatoes. Mm -hmm. This is sambal. Yeah. Oh, it's like more liquidy than oh, I yeah. thought it would be. True. I wonder if the water got in. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think the so. water went in, right? Yeah. I doubt. I mean, if water went in, then the canned food is just really badly packed. Very watery sambal. Yeah. Anyway. Has anyway, which has. is good because... so that We get to dip. dip. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bless the fellas. Thank you a lot for good food. Amen. Amen. Oh, there's chunks in there. Yeah, there's supposed to have chunks of like potato. But there's there. chicken also, right? Yeah, I think there's chicken in there. Just gonna dig it out a bit. Yeah. There's a lot of chicken actually. Yeah. For a small can like this. Yeah. Is that potato? I don't think so. There should be. It says with potato. potato there you go. You there mean. you go. It's potato. Oh, not tomato. Not sorry. Tomato. Potato. <laughs> yeah, potato. It's not bad. It's not as tasty as we would make it, but it's actually not bad. Spice-wise, taste-wise, not bad. Not the best curry on earth, but it works for a canned curry. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. Quite spicy, actually. Mm -hmm. It's quite close. Like, if someone doesn't know how to make curry, mm -hmm. and you don't like it too much flavor, yep. then this it would be it. Mm -hmm. But the spice is quite... It's quite there, It's know? quite on point, yeah. yeah. Much better than the last time that we tried that mm. rendang chicken one. Yeah, the rendang one. Mm. Yeah. But this is pretty good. This curry works. Tuna. High red curry. It's more deepable because, you know, the tuna is like... Mashed. mashed up, yeah. It doesn't taste like curry. Is it because it's fish? Mm, it tastes like curry, but it doesn't taste like our kind of curry. It's because it's Thai. Yeah. Mm, it's so different. It's a very different kind of curry, man. Yeah, maybe tuna is not meant for curry. Mm, I think it tastes a lot like tuna. Mm, yeah. Sambal, prawn sambal. Okay, it wasn't the sambal udang I was imagining in my head. Okay. But not bad, it's very blachani. Woo! Okay, this one definitely we won't be able to finish this round. Oh, okay. But we can leave it for tonight. It'll okay. go really well with maybe rice or another paratha. Because blachan has a lot of prawn in there. Yeah. If you yeah, take this sambal and mix it with the curry. Yeah, 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 yeah. This sambal and mix it with the curry, I think it will be good. I agree. Okay, it's not very salty, but... It is salty, la. Really? I think it's salty. I just love the blachan flavor. I think it's, yeah, it's the blachan flavor that makes it like salty. Yeah. Tastes good yeah. though. Tastes yeah. good, right? This sambal has a lot of flavor and you mix with the curry, the yolk curry one. It's gonna, it tastes really, really yeah. good. I've never bought curry from can. Mm. Other than, than, than the last time that we did it. Yeah, but that was like rendang. Uh, yeah. Spicy though. Yeah, it's spicy but nice. But I'm quite excited to try the other one. We've got more cans. For a dinner today, we are having smiley fish or smiling fish. Fried fish with chili and fried mackerel with salted beans. Mmm, 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 mmm. Never tried this brand before, but we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna boil, not really boil, basically just put this in a pot of boil water and then uh, just heat it up like that and eat like that. We've already made rice. It doesn't cover food. Is it? Okay. Here you go. We heated up our. Huh? Fishes. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is the salted bean one. Yes. Interesting looking. Interesting looking. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But I mean, mackerel lah. That's how it looks like. I don't know. Yeah. My parents usually just take it out and actually cook it. Now this one. Ooh, it's dry. Oh. Yeah, ah, it is. Ah, this chili fish one is dry. Chili fried fish. Mm. Blau lai. Blau lai. Healthy. We made blau lai. It's probably the only healthy part of our meal today. I don't know how healthy is canned food, honestly. I don't think canned food is that healthy. There's a lot of like sodium, sugar in there. Yeah, it's a lot of. to preserve it. Exactly. That's usually Well, canned. you eat the whole like big kapu lah. Don't know if got bones or not. It's actually not bad. You know how sardine tastes like very tomatoey? Yeah. It's like sardine, uh -huh. but without much of the tomatoey taste. Okay, so this one is literally fried mackerel with yeah. soy sauce and a bit chili. And 
and chili and sugar. How about this one? This one is bean. fish mackerel water, sugar, soy sauce, salted bean, palm oil. Okay. This one looks a bit more funky. Yeah, this looks a bit more funky. But I mean, have you, you ha have you ever had mackerel in can? Like mackerel with salted bean in can, the black bean? No, have you had that? I've never had any of these before. Are you serious? I've like, had like canned sardines and baked beans. Oh, okay. Because this one is quite popular in my my household oh, really? but it's not this particular brand that we'll buy we'll buy the other brand okay. that's also like mackerel and like black bean it used to be my eldest sister's favorite food yeah, it's pretty good it's pretty good mm. i thought it'd be very overpowering but it's not it's not like overly tasty or overly salty mm, that's really nice right? imagine if you were like cooking porridge this stuff will go like perfectly with it mm. only when i'm sick guy eat porridge bye bye now nice we got leftovers and i think what yeah. we're gonna do is that we're gonna yeah. fry all of this Rice. Yeah, put all of this into the fried rice tomorrow and then just make some simple fried rice. That being said, this is not a super healthy food. I mean, it's not meant for you to, you know, get your nutritional values and food pyramid and all that shit. It's more for us to like taste because I know at a time like this, there's not a lot of food available out there. But yeah, this is just us tasting new things. Like I've never really ate a meal out of a can before. Like this is actually not bad. I'm pretty surprised. I, I didn't expect to enjoy this that much because I thought it'd be like either too salty or too sweet or too bland. too tasty. Or, or maybe. even bland. Or maybe even bland. I don't know. But this is actually pretty good. You could use it for other things. You could use that stuff like this sambal to fry rice. You could use this one to fry rice or so. You know, you could Mix it up with other things you can fry with other vegetables. It's actually really, really cool. New ideas, people. Thank you for the PSA. Guess that's pretty much it for now for the, all the canned food. I think we're pretty much almost done with the canned food other than the pasta sauce. But we run out of pasta. I think we'll leave that for another video. But for now, we're pretty much, I guess, done for this video. Maybe there will be a part two. We'll see how. But for now, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe!